All right, this is my third workout with Scott Provost on the way to his fourth degree. One. Faster? Three. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go fast. Two. Three. Your footwork is so fast. Ready, seven. That's what we want. Ready, eight. Okay, light it up, Scott. Two more, nine. Last one. That's it. Ready, five. Nice. Ready? Six. Good. Now relax what doesn't need to be tight. Ready? Seven. Beautiful. Now faster. Eight. All right, a little chair practice here. Two. That's it. That's it. And accuracy is everything. Go put your hand on your knee if you can help it, on your thigh. That's it. Fast recovery now. And good. Exhale. That's it. Now give me a hook on it this time. That's it. Nice. Come on. That's what I like. Ready? Four. That's what I want right there. Five. Okay, now rip it off. Ready? Six. That's it. Hook it now. The last one. Ready? Seven. One more for good luck. Your best you've ever done. That's it. And rest. Those are nice. Four. Turn it. Turn your hips. Pop up well. Good. Now I want one, two, pop up. That's it. Come on. Hook it. Now up. Rest. One, now. Two, now. That's it, go. Get your adjusted. Adjust right away. Five. Adjust your footwork in the air. In the air. Six. Come on. So I'm working with Scott on uh, pad kicking because it serves two purposes. One is it's conditioning, and second is it, uh, it just gets him in kick shape because uh, at fourth degree black belt, you want to have kicks that are like lightning. Now, he's got power. He's got speed. He's lacking a little accuracy. But you'll see over the course of the next uh, six months, his kicks are going to go from good to great. Perfect posture. Okay, you're hitting him with your fingertips, not your knife hand, yeah? So you're going to be right there, right? I mean, right on the money. You don't miss by you. Again. Tuck your chin. Again. 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 Okay, you come. step performance for his fourth degree test choreographed one step.